my name is Mary Cheney. I'm the marketing manager here at VoIP Supply. Um, I'd like to introduce some of our partners here today. Uh, Tommy Lee is with FAMville, Daniel Everett from Tiger TMS, and my, Matt Heine from 3CX. Um, we are going to dive into these solutions. Uh, we really feel like this is going to be a great webinar for our partners. Um, all of these um, brands that we work with are great. They, we highly recommend them, hence why we are doing this web webinar today. Um, I just wanted to cover a little bit about VoIP supply. So for people on here, I won't spend too much time because I'm sure you're familiar with us. But um, VoIP Supply, we've been around since 2002. Um, we love what we do. We do everything for VoIP. Um, if you're part of our partner program, I'm sure you're taking advantage of some of the great resources. Um, and uh, our expert sales team, um, they have well over 50 years of experience combined. Um, a lot of them have been with the company since we started. And because of them and those relationships, we get to work with partners such as FanVille and 3CX and Tiger TMS. So I won't spend too much time on this. Um, there is a Q&A feature available to you. Uh, there should be a little Q bubble down at the right uh, right hand side of the screen. Um, if you could use that, uh, if you can't see it or you can't find it, there is the chat functionality. So we will monitor that. Uh, but we'll try to answer a lot of the questions towards the end of the webinar. Um, but if something seems relevant, we will um, politely interrupt our hosts here and they will uh, try to answer those questions on the fly. But if not, we will get to them later. And if we can't answer them today, we will certainly uh, email you after. And this is being recorded, so you will get a copy of it after the webinar. So I am going to um, hand this off to Daniel. Well, everybody, thank you very much indeed. Good afternoon. Um, you can probably detect by my slightly weird and wonderful accent that I may be not be a, a brother from the American continents, but um, we are very closely related and just a small piece of water um, in between. But my job here today to collaborate uh, with Mary, Yalidi, um, Tommy and Matt from 3CX. Um, and I have to say, this is a real pivotal moment, I think, in the voice world in uh, this weird and wonderful uh, little vertical market called hospitality. Um, the idea around today is just to give you a nutshell of where we are, uh, where we've come from, what we are pr producing for the marketplace today. Um, we will talk about perhaps our, our pedigree and our longevity in the market, uh, which hopefully brings some sort of confidence and assurance in terms of working with us and uh, ultimately uh, our collaborative partners as well, uh, Tommy from Fanville and Mary from uh, VoIP Supply. I won't read everything verbatim from the screens. That's the whole idea around pictorial images. And uh, of course, if you get tired of my voice, uh, there's always some pictures that you can look at. Um, and uh, no crayons, I'm afraid, are provided at any stage during the webinar, but I'm sure we can ship those out to you uh, should you absolutely require it. So a little bit about Tiger TMS, um, our longevity and dare I say our pedigree in the market um, has been one that's been around for probably 30 years. Um, we've come from a, a true sort of telco background, um, but like any technology company um, now being software only to the marketplace, it's essential that we keep pace um, with the marketplace. And we firmly placed our flag in the ground for hospitality um, over all of these years. It's absolutely a moment of evolution um, at this particular time. Uh, we have been owned by a different organization called Mitel. Uh, you may have uh, come across them. You may come toe to toe with them uh, in the uh, weeks and months and years to follow. But from March the 1st last year, we threw a management buyout program. Uh, we salvaged back to true independence, uh, Tiger TMS, and we know the entity in the United States is known as Tiger TMS Innovation. A picture is always painting a thousand words and therefore uh, global sales presence uh, looks like this. Uh, I get to look after in the main, the green and the yellow bits uh, on the left hand side. And uh, we have a small um, sister organization, um, Esteban in Mexico, that looks after the more Spanish speaking nature um, of our business. But nevertheless, um, as VP for sales for the Americas, 
uh, I generally look after that enormous uh, geography. Typically, as you would imagine, um, our model to market is exclusively through partners. So I can't again ex um, expound the value um, and the, uh, the the well wishes from collaborative relationships like this, because you end up being our troops on the ground. And we have very wide ranging customer base, uh, be it from Hawaii on the left, uh, through to Rhode Island on the right, and then from places like Nova Scotia to, to New Mexico um, and beyond. Like all sales presence, um, it needs to be backed clearly and heftily by a significant global presence. And uh, the service presence for us uh, is in twofold, um, up near the lakes in Wisconsin, uh, sitting on central time roughly. And uh, as I say, also uh, our colleagues down in the uh, Mexico region um, and further south. When we left Mitel, just as a brief portfolio overview, uh, we had a couple of interesting um, products, uh, workhorse products that have done tremendously well for us over time. We won't be too, talking too much about inline today. Um, that's actually a, there's a technical reason uh, why we won't be bringing that into the conversation today. But the front and center in the big red dot in the biggest letters on the page. Uh, forgive my Death Star imagery, um, but it's no surprise that iLink, which is what we're here to talk about today, which will be our service bus bi-directional middleware. And that's the vital piece of software that will connect 3CX to a whole plethora of different PMS property management systems that you will come across in hospitality. Some I know of you will be familiar with the vertical, Others may indeed be very new to the vertical market. It's the only thing in this particular vertical that provides um, an appropriate technological challenge of joining 3CX to the customer's already incumbent property management system or PMS. iCharge is its bigger brother. There's a call accounting uh, module that sits on top of iLink should that be required. And I mentioned that <clears throat> with good reason because when you start to play in hospitality clearly we will all want to play in a large volume market and typically that is represented by the flags uh, or the brands so the hiltons the marriott's the hyatt's the Wyndhams, the choice hotels etc um, are absolutely uh, insistent in the main on having a call accounting piece but definitely utilizing iLink um, and as I say uh, right across the uh, American territory. iLink, um, it's a pretty bold statement that you see on the screen before you today. Um, I've been having some great uh, and often long conversations with uh, Greg, Greg Steinig. Uh, you may know Greg, um, he's a, a counterpart to Matt directly from 3CX and uh, there has been some progress with 3CX directly with the PMS players. But what we're finding is, of course, that some of the large organizations can be quite difficult, quite frictional to deal with. And therefore, those companies that are more nimble, more agile and more easily deployed um, can often bring much more uh, satisfaction to perhaps smaller hotel chains. Um, or a real estate management where some of their properties are hotels that others may not be. And of course, with large PMS type organizations, you get that inevitable uh, deep pocket requirement, shall we say, which cannot or can sometimes be cost prohibitive to joining. And so I'm delighted to uh, be talking with you today and uh, on behalf of 3CX to say middleware is what we do. Tiger TMS iLink is what you need, and this absolutely will connect 3CX to the incumbent PMS uh, that you will find from the marketplace. And I'm just going to talk you through a couple of quick slides um, just to explain why that is the case and how it will take place. It's very much perceived as the gold standard um, across the industry, and, and I don't just mean necessarily in the Americas. Uh, we have the EMEA territories, APAC. Um, Middle East, Africa, um, and the, the wider global territory. And iLink is used globally across all chains and independents. Um, and indeed, the longevity in the market has meant that the formation of strong strategic relationships, development experience, and all of the things that you see on the screen here are absolutely pivotal to us being able to collaborate together and uh, propel you into 
the hospitality vertical market. So what does it look like? Um, I think a schematic is sometimes uh, an easy way to uh, consume and to understand uh, what often customers have now. And hospitality has always been led by uh, an extremely strong, if not exclusive, property management system, PMS, you'll keep hearing that expression. It's known often as the, the big data in hospitality, where everything pretty much has a relationship to it. Uh, the bookings engines, the arrival departure experience, um, all manner of other different technologies, even things like IPTV, high-speed internet, there always has a relationship with the PMS. Mr. Smith is arriving on this date, he's departing on this date, and the barring and unbarring of lines or the creation or the deletion of mailboxes on departure. And, and all of those traditional telco things, as well as some new technologies, again, always have that very strong PMS relationship. But where we're trying to introduce iLink, um, the name middleware, it sits in the middle. It provides the architectural glue, if you will, to join and link these different technologies together, where we can help you save or the customer save money on interfaces, reduce onboarding time. You may come across an estate of properties that have different PMSs, but ultimately the customer through a capital pro plan um, or just simple acquisitions and legacy equipment, you may have different PMSs. Ultimately, all of those situations can exist um, or coexist at the same time with iLink mitigating these different and sometimes challenging um, connectivity issues. Where we're trying to get to is the left-hand imagery that you see that hub and spoke architecture with the little arrows joining, often representing um, a pain point, um, a significant one that could be representative of time or cost or both, and trying to educate as indeed we go forward with you hand in hand to expound the virtues of and explain the benefits of a more linear distributed architecture where modular technologies can be added and as you see all linking ultimately to the PMS. The screen you see before you now, um, some names perhaps will be familiar to some of you uh, who may already be involved with hospitality, uh, others you may not. Um, it's just a, an absolute handful of uh, the market cross-section, if you will, um, of the number of PMSs that exist today. There are hundreds. And you could imagine that for um, uh, even a, a strong and very flexible, agile company like 3CX to create these integrations would just be those forever moving of goalposts for something that may never be achieved and certainly not without a great deal of expenditure and time. And so this is where we are bringing the value to the collaborative relationship. Um, strong and big names in the marketplace were would be something like Oracle Opera, um, for example, Fidelio was its was its old name, if you will. Um, some of the large uh, flagged um, hoteliers like Hilton have their own PMS. On Cue is the one in the white box in the middle. And equally, as time goes forward, you'll see that um, change in evolution of deployment, even for PMS, which typically may have been in a uh, a lone standalone PC in in the basement but now you've got certainly strong PMS solutions coming to market, evolving seemingly on a weekly, monthly basis, that are now actually talking about cloud deployment and Muse in the yellow box, Infor in the red box. Again, very, very strong companies, some of which are quite new, but still strongly coming to market. SMS there, Springer Miller, SS&C is timeshareware, Agilicist, often seen in casinos and uh, cas casino properties. So lots and lots to go at. Um, and our iLink uh, newsletter is, we've just done a new one um, that is readily available and happily would send that out to show you and to detail and um, stipulate how many integrations we have and how far we actually go. But that's truly technology and a telco, a telecommunications voice world. What we're also seeing the value of iLink now is also the relationship with other technologies, which I've alluded to so far. They now include things like IPTV, 
Um, we have formalized arrangements with Samsung, Philips, and LG, whereby it isn't just on departure, the facility to have the guest name eradicated, the folio closed, the line barred, and the voicemail cleaned up. It's now also about TV consumption, whereby Chromecast or sharing platforms of content may mean that credentials and subscription details need to also be deleted from a secure standpoint upon departure. And again, this is the value that iLink can absolutely bring in addition. You can see um, by my front and center, um, Matt, I'll accept the check later, uh, that 3CX is standing uh, tall and proud in the middle. But of course, with such a uh, long-standing base of voice services in hospitality, you will inevitably come across uh, worthy competitors, uh, the Mitels, the Avias, the NECs, etc. of the world. I would just make a strong point here, guys. The way that the um, standards that 3CX are exacting in terms of the features and benefits um, absolutely compare with, if not far outweigh, the traditional telecom players you will find absolutely an enormously aged um, architectural landscape, I should say, with the older systems. And therefore, today, absolutely, hospitality is in a, a poor shape from a revenue standpoint. Um, the advent of cellular phones from the marketplace has reduced um, revenues from the room uh, down to nothing, where this voice services is absolutely a cost. The customer is at his wit's end as to how to support the 20-year-old NEC or the 25-year-old Nortel Meridian or whatever that might be. The time is absolutely now, guys, and 3CX is really strong um, and with VoIP supply and Fanville supporting a really, really strong proposition. iLink at the bottom will also play to the customer strengths of adding things like bring your own device, BMS building management systems, point of sale for food and beverage ordering, the list goes on. And so as custodians of iLink, not only will you check that box in terms of 3CX connects to PMS, it is our view that you will equally bring additional value and be included in conversations for additional technologies as you create the relationships in hospitality. A little quick piece around I charge. Uh, as I say, it's bigger brother. I know and I'm well aware of a call accounting module in um, 3CX, but some of the bulleted points there, you will see um, I charge Cub and Pro that we can bring. Equally, they're inclusive of iLink anyway. So a little bit more of an enhanced uh, proposal there for call accounting, and you can see the bullets. Very, very popular, particularly in that flag or brand standard um, environment. It's 3CX Pro um, that we're talking about. Um, the solutions, absolutely, that I'll put on the screen or the feature benefits, I should say, of the solution, really, really do address things like hospitality, middleware, call accounting, reporting. The iCharge function also brings a GUI um, in case of the PMS is down where you can bring additional um, resiliency in the network and redundancy in the case of PMS failure. And then the nice, quirky, almost sort of peculiar little pieces that we can add on truly, truly hospitality with things like wake up calls, room status change, how we could get uh, service personnel to through a short dial code, either through the room device or even on the 3CX soft phone actually key that room clean and vacant, ready for sale, back down to the front desk through to the PMS as well. So lots of really nice touches and ones that equally may address some hesitancy um, in terms of uh, dyed in the wool loyalty to traditional players. And therefore, there's no dilution of features or services that you can bring by uh, taking up this particular proposition. In addition to all of that, uh, Mary, you haven't seen this additional slide. Um, it's been something that is incredibly new. And by that, I mean by the end of last week. Um, it's something that we are looking at for our BYOD program. Um, iPortal is the product. Uh, PWA is the principal um, 
progressive web application. I remembered it well. Um, but I would ask you all um, just for convenience and just to show you the sorts of things that absolutely can equally be achieved. If you open your cameras, wait, uh, hold your device up to the QR code on the screen, uh, wait till it's framed and then click on the link. You'll see that um, with another 3CX partner, um, we are absolutely gaining significant ground um, in terms of bringing iLink already to the North American market. And uh, hopefully you should see uh, a nice little graphic pop up on your screen, on your web browser uh, called Treetops. And if you use the scan across the bottom of the page, you'll see a contact us button. If you click on the contact us button, we've actually now developed a way of embedding uh, 3CX chat um, into the iPortal which again can really, really, truly bring extra additional guest service engagement and help the customer drive guest service revenue back in the beleaguered hospitality world as they start to recover and reopen, addressing hopefully all of their telecom needs. So a small little appetite, a little teaser, um, if you will, uh, of the sorts of things that we can bring to you by bringing Tiger TMS iLink to the party. Um, all I would remain is for me to say thank you for listening and for your time today. Um, very, very happy to talk to you individually. If there's a wider audience from your um, dealership or your colleagues that weren't able to make that today, please do contact me. We can do uh, an appropriate clinic or workshop um, thereafter and do a little bit more of a deeper dive. But until then, uh, thank you again, as I say, for listening. Um, and that's my piece for today. And I'll leave you with my tiger's eye. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Hey, we did have one question that I feel like maybe we should address um, before we let Tommy take over. Um, okay. Brian had asked, um, and this is in reference to iCharge, does it have to be iCharge or can it be another, or can it be other call accounting solutions be used? Um, iCharge, Sorry, other call accounting solutions can be used. iLink can exist on its own. That is the, the connecting middleware. Um, you do find that, of course, what you there, there may be connectivity issues from the call accounting side, whoever they may be, because they have then got to be involved and work with iLink and 3CX as well. So arguably you are doubling or certainly expanding the architecture rather than keeping it much more sort of straightforward. But I believe it is possible, Brian, to answer your question. Thank you, Daniel. Brian, hopefully that answered your question. And uh, we are going to pass this over to Tommy Lee with Fanville to talk a little bit more about their line. Correct. Thank Tommy you for the Tommy. introduction, Mary. You're welcome. And thank you, Daniel. Do you hear my voice? Yes, we do, Tommy. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much. Rock and roll. The lateral. Uh, unlike the the middleware that uh, that 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 uh, Tiger TMS provides, uh, we provide the SIP based endpoints. And I'm just going to go over in a typical hospitality market. Of course, everybody is aware uh, within the hospitality environment about all the different room phones that we have, but we have some room phones that really provide a level of differentiation, which I'll get into in just a moment. Uh, we have both the baseline phones that go into every room, in addition to some of the narrow band phones that could fit in auxiliary rooms, bathrooms, et cetera. But beyond just phones, we also have other equipment such as remote entrance. They could be intercoms that allow remote access either into the back dock or it's remoting into a garage, et cetera. And beyond that, we also have uh, the ability to offer our partners the ability to convert anything that was analog controlled in the legacy PBX environment into SIP. So when you deploy a SIP PBX such as 3CX, you could now actually have full control of the existing parking meters that were out there. Very often when you stay in hospitality, you end up you know, being stuck behind a barrier sometimes if your payment card doesn't work. 
And when you upgrade the audio system, what, what do you use to have this person communicate to the front desk? Well, you can actually have a gateway such as our PA2, which is fully certified by 3CX to allow that person to use that system to communicate with the front desk. But in addition to that, it also has logic so that it can control um, the, up, the, the uptake or the downtake of the, of the parking gate just based on a specific code that the person could push a button or close it, depending on what command they do. In addition to that, it also provides the ability to do PA systems as well. So many people might be familiar with this. And of course, we do business phones as well. You know, we have large control panels that provide, you know, speakers without speakers with many duplicate keys that give you the access to provide control over all of these systems. Now, for those who aren't familiar with Fanville, I just want to provide a brief overview. Uh, we, in addition to the phones that I'm going to go over temporarily, we also have uh, SIP access stations here, which actually contains key codes. Uh, this would be great if you want to provide remote gate access and as well as indoor stations. I'm going to provide some very unique things about hospitality that these things have creeped into, uh, which sort of surprised me, but it actually provides some very good access. Uh, for many of the clients. And as well, we have intercoms for many different environments for both indoors and outdoors with and without video. And I talked about SIP public addressing before. And just like uh, 3CX, which you can go, go and provide automatic provisioning, we also have a management system to really allow you to monitor all of these endpoints from a single location. If that is something that you're interested in doing, and we provide that free of charge to all of our partners moving forward. Now let's just talk a little bit about the hospitality phones that we've done. Now I like to start off just with the really our SIP, this two line SIP phones that we have here. This is a narrow band phone, which all of the logic is contained uh, within the handset. It actually has a background speaker phone as well. You could provide a quick speed dial to the front desk if need be, and it mounts to a wall. So you can have this in the bathroom or any auxiliary room that you might have. And believe it or not, this phone has actually found its way beyond hospitality and into many different remote locations that just need a basic phone at a very, valu at a very valuable price, which provides a lot of high return if all you're interested is in dial tone and getting voice. Now, when you wanna look at some of the phones, we have two bottles, the H5 and the H3. Now, within the H5 and H3, there are really two different series. There's the H5W, which actually has integrated Wi-Fi, as well as the H3W, which has integrated Wi-Fi. Obviously, for many hospitality environments, not every room is going to be uh, equipped with Cat5 or Cat6 cabling into every room, but this provides the capability of being able to provide Wi-Fi connectivity, specifically the 2.4 gigahertz, into each of the rooms so you actually could, could find wherever outlet you have, plug it in, and it could connect to the network through that interface as well. Another very differentiating feature is the fact that this has a SIP hotspot in both of these phones. Now, very often when you go to a room that has more than one phone, you might have a phone by the desk or, or, or on the, within the desk environment. You might have a phone in the bathroom or within the front desk, depending on what type of deployment you have. The unique thing about the Fanville hospitality phones is that with the SIP hotspot, you can actually register one extension onto a 3CX or any particular SIP platform and use that phone as sort of a master. So when you actually ring that phone, it will automatically page all of the specific phones and have them all ring at the same time. Now, granted, you can actually have, you know, a, a gang ring or configure that in a PBX, but this is an alternative way to really simply manage each room with one specific extension and all the different things to do. Now, H5, I haven't seen this in many other places, but the H5 gives you a classic soft screen. And the advantage with the soft screen that comes in both white and black is that you could then put in the hospitality logo as well as the environment and modify these specific keys to match your environment. The great news about this is that you could then customize all the different uniqueness about that hospitality in one model phone. We also have the classic templated phones and for people who've been in the hospitality for a while, you can actually put in those logos on here and have these things manually done, but it provides you with a quick little lead time to be able to provide those things to you, but we have them both in white and black. 
Wi-Fi connectivity and also giving you the ability to do that. And in addition, it also provides on the side a USB port here because many of the independent, you know, rooms that are just upgrading that doesn't have USB connectivity, you could also provide just a phone charging port here. This doesn't connect to the hospitality network at all. This is here just to provide additional mobile phone charging, uh, which a lot of guests seek for in these rooms today. Now pairing with 3CX, I wanted to also make aware that Fanville, as you see, I took this as a, as a cut and paste from their website. We are their preferred provider in terms of providing easy integration. And if you look at here, the H series of all the H2s, the H5s and H3s are all listed here. So we are a preferred as well as a, as a totally certified unit in case you're working with 3CX. So you have a peace of mind moving forward. And similarly, our uh, warranty on all of these products is two years as well. Just to touch base a little bit about our XU series in case you're actually looking for putting together a business phone in the hospitality. All of these phones contain all of the basic features, whether they're giggy, color, POE, even from the low you know, color base baseline all the way to the upper base, you actually have all of these units provided under one specific, you know, uh, brand that, that you don't have to worry about whether this is covered or not. And all of these actually can, from the X5U and the X6U, as well as the X4U, have a dongle which allows you to connect to Wi-Fi as well. Some of the differentiating branding as well is, is the ability to really separ separate the SIP accounts from the different BLF speed dial keys, which actually line up with a lot of one of the legacy phones that are out there so that you can also provide all of this uniqueness in, in managing your calls using the SIP accounts, coupled with you know, calling all the different keys, and these could be different rooms in a, in a hospitality environment or in a business environment. And for those that are interested, we also have customized branding as well, so that if you actually have you know, higher quantity requirements, uh, we work really closely with Web Supply to provide you with very unique branding requirements. If you want, instead of advertising Fanville, you could put your own name on there if you want to as well. Beyond the standard phones, we also have some larger screen phones. I won't go into detail on this at all, but just to kind of give you an idea on some of the variety that we provide. And we also have major console phones with or without the type of speaker, depending on what environment you work for. And again, for people that have done that, we've integrated all into one platform. So not only do you actually see two extension boards integrated onto one motherboard, but you actually have three separate buttons here that gives you a total of full 106 DSS keys all on one platform. Why do we do that? Because it, we're not gonna bother the partner that's gonna go out there and have to integrate all these things and worry about upgrade. This is all just one phone and that's the route that we've gone moving forward. Together with 3CX, you can obviously work with our solution, either from a remote office basis. Obviously, you know, we work in conjunction. You can contact our phones and do all these things from a mobile application. But in addition to that, we also work with them so that 3CX, typically you can use them to provision all of our phones, or you can use our management system to, in essence, monitor the performance of these phones and do more of a passive thing so that you can realize any troubles or any tickets on the passive side, just as a monitoring standpoint, and use 3CX as your primary provisioning tool. Both tools offer the same thing, and we provide that as a free of charge to our partners, but that's a choice that you can go ahead and make, and if there's any further questions, I'll be more than happy to go ahead and do that. This is just a quick overview, just a snapshot of the many different solutions that we provide from an intercom perspective with or without video in many different environments moving forward. This is the interesting indoor station, which is what we have, and what we've actually done is taken away the handset environment and really created something that looks really good on a wall. In fact, we've actually been able to deploy this in some hospitality environments because what this is, is you can mount this on a wall or even have a desk stand that has integrated Wi-Fi internal within these units. And this could actually serve as a two or a four uh, SIP line phone uh, in, in, in many of these features, as opposed to a classic phone uh, system in there. And some actually provide a touchscreen display, or some actually have some very basic speed dials that you could define here as well. The i56A that we outlined here is just an Android version in case you wanna entertain those specific applications that are Android based, you can actually load it onto our flat screen as well, which could be wall or desk mount. 
Last but not least, we're actually running a demo program with VoIP Supply. You can contact them to look at these indoor stations as well as some of our phones as a hospitality thing. This is what we use to sort of do a test drive. For those who aren't familiar with Fanville and want to do a test drive on it, we provide an, an aggressive one-time purchase you know, with VoIP Supply for you to be able to get them and sort of test drive it to see if it fits your specific needs. And then again, we have not only just uh, a sales contact, which is me also that's based in North America, we also have a local contact here that provides you with technical support as well. Those are the differentiators that Fanville provides to you, and I'm glad to work together with Tiger TMS, 3CX, as well as VoIP Supply moving forward. That's kind of all I have, and I'll move it back to, um, to Mary from here. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much, Tommy. We do have another question. Um, Brian did ask, um, can you comment on the bulk provisioning tool for Fanville for 3CX? I think he just yeah. wants a little bit more details. <laughs> no problem. Um, what 3CX has when you modify it, uh, on the list that I showed you earlier, there is a whole menu of Fanville phones that are listed on there. And you can work with 3CX and say, okay, uh, you can actually load up our phones on their system through a MAC address. And that MAC address will enable it to recognize these phones in the room so that you can select it. And then it will automatically provision a template onto the phone so that it will automatically configure these phones. And so you can manage it through the 3CX interface. And we have all of the redirection servers in the background. So when you open up the, the phones from the box, what ends up happening is that these phones will end up being registered to your site. And say you work with 3CX, it, it will automatically be recognized that this phone belongs to you, and then it will point directly to your 3CX server, and you can select how that phone is configured by using one of their standardized templates to have automatic registering. So that saves you a lot of configuration time at the hospitality site or any business site, depending on how you want to deploy it. Thank you, Tommy. Are there further resources um, on the use of this with 3CX online? Um, are there further uses? I guess in terms of applications, yeah. Uh, beyond just uh, using telephones, um, our PA2, which is a broadcasting unit, as well as our intercoms, video door accesses are, are all been certified on the 3CX platform. And what that does, it really saves you time in worrying whether or not the, the interoperability between our endpoints, as well as the 3CX platform, uh, you know, if there's any questions, that's all been done in advance so that deployment should be as smooth as possible. Tommy, I think he's, he's talking about documentation. Um, yeah, you oh, go documentation. on 3CX.com uh, to what Tommy was showing you uh, under the help tab and then supported IP phones. You can choose any of those phones. They're all hyperlinks that he was showing you and you'll get full instructions. I just wanted to thank everybody for coming today um, and kind of reiterate some of the points that all of our partners discussed today. Just the, um, I guess, the reconstruction of the hospitality industry and um, it being the time to kind of go after those key accounts and make sure that you're set up with the right partners to handle some of these larger deployments, especially in hospitality. Um, they can get very complex and we do have some awesome resources on this webinar today. Um, all of them are very familiar and um, just highlighting the fact that we are seeing more and more questions come in about hospitality and um, specifically one of the phones that I, I wanna highlight and that we're seeing a lot of interest in is the H5 uh, Fanville phone. Um, we're, we're seeing a lot of um, deployment of that, that particular model. Um, how do you obtain, a, Bruce, sorry, sorry, Bruce just asked a question. Um, how do you obtain the demo kits? Uh, Bruce, they're actually available right on our VoIP Supply website. Um, under the Fanville brand in the category, you should see a category called um, demo um, bundles. And if you click in there, all of the demo bundles that are available for right now um, are in there and you can go ahead and actually just purchase it right online. You don't even have to set up an account. But if anybody has any additional questions, um, we'd be happy to answer those now. Um, if not, I will make sure all of the contact information is um, sent out to you. Um, if you're looking to do demos with 3CX Fanville or Tiger TMS, 
um, please reach out to VoIP Supply. We'd be happy to set up those, um, those demos for you with the partners. And um, we really appreciate everybody jumping on today and spending a little time um, on this topic with us. Um, and like I said, if you have any additional questions, reach out to us. We're happy to answer them for you. And um, we will follow up and get this webinar out, the recording and all of the slides that you saw today and additional resources that you were looking for. So thank you so much, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you, Mary. Thank you for inviting us. Thank you for everyone for coming. Thank you. Thank you.